champion day jobs, and a chance to chat with our beloved fan artists in this showcase. Summoners, we have come to expect the coolest creations from our community, and you guys do not disappoint. So what is next in the realm of League of Legends fan art? Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a day job. People often wonder what champions do off the field, and it turns out they sure keep busy. With Pangolino's help, we see this classic trundle hits the course to golf it up, but whether for work or leisure, we are unsure. Is it against the rules to block someone's shot with your pillar? Is that unsportsmanlike? In the event of full contact golfing, you probably need a few extra items on your side. Zapelli crafted up some darling little charms of ruby and sapphire crystals, perfect for soaking up that extra damage and preventing mana drain. I also feel like having the Philosopher's Stone in daily life would be strangely beneficial. Maybe that's what careers and coffee represent. Though, speaking of new careers, bet you haven't seen this new art from Matcom. Known for his wildly inventive splash art ideas, Matt's done it again with construction worker Yorick. When you got three ghouls to feed, I guess you need the extra income. We are lucky enough to have him on the show answering your questions later, so sit tight. If you're a pink-haired girl and you have a monstrous best friend bear, your thoughts are probably full of fire. Archiri does a delightful rendition of Annie and her clever villainous side. We see her looking cute or petulant, but our pint-sized pyro has as much mischief as the next gal, and she's willing to show it. I'm not saying that fire is always the answer. In fact, I think I'd be more of a druidic type, like, like a leafmancer or something. But tell us on Facebook if you had an elemental power, what do you think it would control? Based entirely on the name, I think that our featured fan, Bitty Olives You, would be a pizza wizard. Because reasons. Anivia clearly favors frozen magic, even if she's made of metal. Yuruchi made a sculpture of a bird and did the only logical thing, which is to turn it into a ceiling decoration. Think of it, your very own Anivia, in flight, in your home. I'd like to think she has some special benefit to domestic living, like as a backup alarm clock. Oh, I am so awake now. You guys love Matcom and you have a whole bunch of crazy burning questions for him. So here to handle both of those things, we actually have Matt, our esteemed fan artist. He says Howdy. hello. So um, I see that you actually have some shirts that you designed by, right behind you. Yeah, a little while ago I got the opportunity to make some designs for Jinx.com's official League of Legends line. And I decided to go with Greggy Ice from the Broloff skin and then Baron face because I like Baron and faces are cool. Are you the only person in the world who likes Baron? Like, you're his I, friend. He's adorable, <laughs> I think. That's just me, though. Well, to start off with some questions from the community, Nephilim Strike says, which comes first, the idea and then the champion to kind of suit that idea, or getting the champion and then coming up with an idea for them? It's a little combination of both. Sometimes you can have general skin ideas that fit into genres that you can then apply to champions, but for the most part, I start with a champion and then work my way around that. So depending on the champion, for example, Nautilus, he's a big armored dude, got, has this weird suit on, goes in extreme conditions, and so what extreme conditions could you place him in? One is underwater, and then the other is up in space. So I decided to go with Astro Nautilus, and it worked out pretty well. Yes, actually, uh, the fans would actually know you primarily because of the, the skin fan art that you've done. And some of them were so popular, we actually made them into skins in our game, including Astro Nautilus and Pool Party Ziggs. Um, so Hiroshi, who is highly inspired by you, said, what advice do you have for someone starting to draw? The best advice is to just start doing it. Get the basic equipment, pencil, pen, paper, and start drawing real-life objects or your favorite video game and comic characters. That's how I started out as a child. I would see things that I thought were cool and want to make them and decided to try to do that. And over time, you just get better and then you upgrade your equipment and the subjects. And as long as you get feedback from people, you can really get a good sense of where you're at and where your skills are at. Fantastic. You mentioned upgrading your materials. Uh, she's a no emotu. Really wants to know what kind of art programs and materials that you use. Well, now I primarily use Photoshop, some other supplementary programs. But the main hardware I use to translate the drawing motion into the actual painting is a Wacom Cintiq 21UX tablet. Big, expensive, awesome. So uh, as a last question, Junior Fisherman really, really wants to know, if you weren't an artist, what kind of career would you have? I would most likely be a lawyer, 
Um, I've been told I like to argue with people, like to get into issues or argue for things just for the fun of it. But um, over time, while I got my education in college, I started competing in contests, doing more art related work. And with community support, I've had tremendous opportunities to work with places like Jinx.com, Counter Logic Gaming, and with Riot as well. That's fantastic. So it all came from the community then? Absolutely. The support of the community is the primary reason why I've had so many opportunities though, so far. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been amazing. And uh, thank everyone else for, for joining us today. If you have any kind of art or anything, send it in. We want to see it. And thank you. We will see you next episode.